everyone, I'm Milky Marsh. Welcome to Moonlighter. Uh, I got this game on Epic Store a while ago for free. So I have played a bit. I've played about an hour. Oh jeez, I didn't realize I played that much of this game. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. Uh, hard recommend. Uh, who cares? Difficulty doesn't make that much of a difference. So I have played this, I know how it works, more or less, and the game is really, really fun. As, well, uh, if it wasn't fun, I wouldn't have put an hour into the game. So, it, it's all in this, like, kind of pixely art style. Uh, I forgot to read that. You know what, let's just go ahead and skip this. I'll tell you the story. So these dungeons appeared, just out of, ran out, out of nowhere. They just randomly appeared in, I don't know, in like a deserty place. And the, they did just these doors. You go in these doors and it's all random dungeons. Everyone gets a different dungeon. And there's lots of stuff in these dungeons. So this is currently inside a dungeon. And that is who we play as. It's weird, everything is so bouncy. Even though he's... Um, with this style. Yeah, it's telling me how to walk. So you go through these dungeons and you can destroy these tables by just walking through them. And you can like roll and everything. I almost messed that up. Um, and now you just go and get treasure. Uh, yeah, you can roll through enemies as well. And... This is just the basic tutorial, like telling you how it works. Got out myself a health potion. So when I started playing this game, I thought there was only one way to attack. I thought that was the only way you could attack things. But no, <laughs> there's a second button. Also, I'm going to destroy all these pots because some of these pots can have um, health potions in them. No, none of the pots dropped a health potion. Uh, see that one did Because it's really useful if you get health potions now um, How do I move all oh there we go You press the Z button uh, The app there it's telling me what to do So I'm just gonna go ahead and get all this stuff and this is where you're supposed to die There's no way to make it through this. I think you keep everything though. No, you no, you lose everything. So they kill you there, and then your granddad finds you. So the, these are the dungeons. There are five of them, and it just like spits you out. So that's the only dungeon that's open. The rest of them are all like locked. And then you gotta find a key or something to unlock the next one. I'm not too sure how that works. This guy's saying what a sorry looking kid as if he's never seen me before. But this, we actually um, own a shop. He owns a shop. I'm like his grandson or something. So we get this little shop, right? And we can sell stuff. As you can see, those two floating things are selling. Or being sold. Okay. Yeah, this is like all my notes in the dungeon. You need five, four keys to open the massive, the fifth door. I uh, don't know where to get the keys. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna skip all this. Boom, there we are. In the golem dungeon. This is uh, all randomly generated dungeons as well. Ouch. And everything drops stuff. Like sticks and stones and what have you. These things suck. Ow. Uh, this thing might just straight up kill me. I went into that completely unprepared. Okay, well I killed him, so it doesn't matter. 
And eventually you get a lot of these things. So uh, that, that, that works for me pretty much because these things turn based on where you are. These guys aren't dropping much. Oh look, it's an explorer dude. So this guy explored a lot and he died as you can tell. So you see, they, each guardian of these doors has a key and you need all four keys to open the fifth big one. Okay, I guess I have to go home then. How many of this, this guy's just full? This place is full of magical slime. This is all weird slime stuff. Or maybe it's jelly. I'm getting covered in jelly and being transported to the jelly pot. By the jelly pot. Here's my granddad again. And I'm just gonna skip some dialogue. You guys don't need to know what's going on. I've just I've told you all you need to know. That granddad is just telling me, hey, stay out the dungeons. Or if you do go into the dungeons, just get enough of what we want. I can also pay money to get other people to come live here. So I can invest in the town and get like... That's a blacksmith and she sells potions. He sells new weapons and he's a, she sells potions. And if I pay money, I can get them to come live here. And then I can also upgrade my town from... My, my little shop from here. And, but I'm going to go back. And I'm going to do some shopkeeping. And there we go, my shop day is closed. I have made... Oh yeah, those that crystallized energy is always something that you should sell. You get it a lot. Okay, now let's go back into the dungeons. And here we are, the golem dungeon level 1. Let's go this way first. Oh, uh, these little things suck. Those, like, big jelly things are the worst things ever. Also, there are some things that, um, like, you, you have to place them on a specific place in your inventory. Okay, let's go down. Down was a bad idea. Alright, let's keep going this way. Okay, dropped a lot of jello. There we go. Lots of iron bars. And lots of that stuff as well. Oh look, uh, a total uh, piece of history. This is that same guy who we found dead. So you can like find his... Um, you can find his journals, and his journals pretty much give you the story of these dungeons, or how he explores these dungeons. Oh look, a dead guy. Oh, I can kill him and get a health potion. How interesting. Oh no. Ah, I hate that guy. The worst thing about that guy is the fact that he keeps you still so that everyone else can kill you. Oh, what the hell? You guys are taking all my stuff. Oh, I, I am dying. I didn't realize how little health I had. Wow, I shouldn't have used my health potion because this is a healing thing. Alright, to the boss we go. This guy sucks. I keep dodging away from those. Because this guy does a lot of damage and then he does this weird thing that you gotta like do that. Ouch. Okay, maybe I should heal. Um, that didn't help. Well, I killed him. Anyway, this guy drops a lot of stuff. And then this goes to the second level. 
Golem Dungeon level 2. And now we can get this mirror. This uh, mirror lets you sell stuff from your inventory. Although it sells it for a base price. See, there's a, like that little mirror, yeah. So you can't set what price you sell it for. Okay, I think I'm gonna go one more. No, I'm out of health potions. I have to go back. I've got 25 health. I'm not gonna survive. And I don't want to lose all this stuff. If you die, you lose everything that you earned through that run. Or everything, yeah. Everything in your inventory, I think. Kind of sucks, but oh well. Hey, look, it's day. Okay, we made a lot of money. Now I am going to go and buy. I don't know who this guy is, but I'm going to. I'm gonna get the potion lady. I mean, it's 500 coins that I'm just giving to someone else, but the potion lady is really useful. How much does it cost for extra stuff in my shop? 2,000... 8,000 for more space. And a cheap sale box. 75% discount, that's a lot. I don't know, I guess... I guess I'll buy it at some point. But, um... I'm very stingy with my money, so I'm gonna save all that. Also, look, you can go through bushes. And you look so cool when you go through bushes. I think she's got a pet slime up there. Eris. See, you can like, um... Make potions here. So I can make, uh, quite a few potions. I'm gonna make all save. That costs a lot of money. Maybe I'm not gonna do that. I think I'll make three health potions. That seems fine. And... Did I really go sleep? No, I didn't go sleep. What does sleeping even do? I'll go do... I'll go into the dungeon one more time. I wonder if my guy actually gets tired. From lack of sleep. Alright, into the dungeon we go. Boom, into the dungeon again. Uh, you start at level 1 every time. Can I make this jump? Oh, perfect, I can make the jump. Okay, I wasn't hitting that guy. There you go. Did the first one fall down into the abyss? I didn't see that. I fell down into the abyss. Well, that's unfortunate. Freaking pot. Ow. No, don't you freaking take my stuff. I'm trying to take all my hard earned. I don't even. I'm just killing everything, so it's not really hard earned. Yeah, it did fall down into the abyss. Oh, that sucks. I'm just gonna get all that stuff and then go this way. Ouch. Some of these things suck. And they're taking all my stuff. Ow! I legit just walked into that. Um, I forgot to get all my, all my health potions. So, I might just die. I think I'm gonna die. I don't have any- Oh, I do have three health potions. Maybe I should use them. Okay, well there's nothing more over here. Let's go upwards. Oh, here's the... There's the boss. Don't fall into the abyss! Don't fall into the abyss! All my loot, I don't want any of my loot to fall into the abyss. 
Jeez, am I just missing these things? Also, if they're, um, if the enemies are brown, I think they're level 2, which means they're more powerful. Because, like, you see they're two of the same things, but the one up here is, like, blue, and the one down there is brown. So I think that means he's more powerful. I forgot my glasses over there. Yeah, because he's got like two things above him, which means he has more health and stuff. Let me just heal up again before this boss fight. Is there any way to like... Oh yeah, I shouldn't have my health potions equipped. Oh, it isn't the boss. I thought it was always the boss before that, because every time I've gone that, it's the boss in the next room. Well, you know, let me go heal up again, because the boss might be in that room. And fully healed. Here's the boss. Sometimes I get this boss really easily and then other times he just annihilates me. I don't get it. That time he was super easy. I should probably have gone back to heal before. No, I think you started at full health. No, you don't. Alright, level 2. I think I'm gonna go into one or two rooms. Let's go down. Oh god, what is that? Okay, so that's a level 2 thing. Oh, he just knocked himself out again. Perfect. Dead. Oh, what did this guy drop? He dropped crystal rocks. Okay, well that's interesting. Uh, I think one more room. Ouch. These guys are super easy. There we go. Dead. Why can I not pick up this? Oh, my inventory is probably full. And I really want to go find this. Um... Okay. Last room. Hopefully it's over here. Okay. There are two of these. That guy shoots stuff. Okay. Ouch. So I gotta get behind this guy. Okay, that guy sucked. Okay, let's open this. See if we can take anything. Destroys one artifact in direction shown upon returning to town. What? Artifact remains hidden. I got an egg. I think I'm gonna swap that and take one of the hidden things. And I've got one singular vine. And I've got one singular thing over there as well. Uh, how do I pick stuff up, J? And I meant to pick this up. There we go. Now it's not going to destroy anything. Ha! Huh, sucks to suck. Alright, I think that is everything. Do I have anything in my, like, one singular... Empowering crystal? Nope, let's go back to town. Thank you.
Alright, we've killed a lot of things. Didn't realize how much I killed. And boom, just like that, we're back in town. And it's still day. Wait, no, we left at night. Jeez, our sleep schedule must be absolutely destroyed. There we go, I have sold all I want to sell for today. And made myself uh, way too much money. I've got five grand. I think I'm gonna go... Man, maybe I can get an upgrade for my shop. Iron cash register. Oh, I can get tips. A bed. Oh, I think when I sleep I regen my health or something. Extra space. I don't want extra space. I'd like to get this uh, sh level 1 shop. I think I'm going to get the cash register now. And then... If I get another successful run like that, I'll upgrade my... Here we go. Iron cash register. I have no not going to get tips. Perfect. Alright, now I am going to go sleep. And as I sleep, I'm going to end the episode here. As I wake up, 6th of January. I think this is the first time I've slept in four days. Well, me and my buddy are going to enjoy some time off. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.